All right, so I'm back from the spa. I was a bit afraid to use the actual spa area because I wasn't sure if it was like extra 2,000 yen or not. I assume it was all inclusive, but I didn't want to find it out. They had showers, really nice ones, with uh, tons of amenities. You had razors, shaving cream, and <laughs> the amount of hair products is rivaling that of like supermarkets. But the real question, how was my sleep? Uh, bad. Really, well, it wasn't good. It was like below average. Also, if you plan on sleeping longer than 8 a.m., uh, don't, just don't get a capsule hotel. Because around 8 a.m., everybody's alarms on the wall start blaring. And for some reason, they sound like air sirens. So I thought mine was going off by accident, even though I didn't set it up, but it was actually somebody else on the other side of the room. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much, it's pretty much impossible going past, you know, 8 a.m. And sadly, I didn't get to try the free Kima curry because I'm headed out to meet with the prettiest girl in the world. <laughs> Losers, what are you doing watching this video? So sad that we saw that video. And today we're going to Ueno Zoo. But I don't plan to show you everything this zoo has to offer, or like all animals, because you can just Google them. Like, I don't see the difference between me showing you animals versus you just looking them up on the internet. Unless you're very knowledgeable on the subject, but I'm, I'm no Tom Scott, so I don't know if I can really offer any deep insight into it. But instead, I'm going to be showing you the top three most unique things you can find in this zoo that I haven't really seen in any other zoo. Like number one, the tea ceremony house. So on second thought, I might be not including this. This is nothing really to do with animals or the zoo, so yeah, no, scrapping this. Oh my god. What the? <laughs> this is pretty interesting, but wouldn't add it to top three. It's an otter enclosure and it looked pretty crazy at first, but they can swim in the water through here into their habitat. So, uh, I want to at least believe that they're here on their own choice. If you want to see the tigers, you pretty much can't. Because all the glasses are full. Like from all three sides. So I guess that's number two. A unique thing that I haven't really seen much. Just not being able to see the animals. But they have thought of that. So they have sculptures of the animals everywhere. So you can still enjoy them. Footsie as well. Get fucked, gorilla. But I still want to mention the place, the feel of this is quite nice. Whoa, pigeon, pigeon, pigeon. Wow, <laughs> Gunonya. Our lunch, we got the melon, melon soda, we got the panda soda with the panda marshmallow and dango. Number two, the monorail, except uh, it's abandoned, so you can't ride it. So I guess this, this doesn't really count either. There's a line here and I have no idea for what. And I don't think I want to find out, but it might be for petting animals. So the line here is to see a panda, which this zoo is famous for. So uh, we are indeed going to stay in that line. And number three, best, most unique thing here, the panda. I've never seen a panda in my life before. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Except, you know, for the fact that we had to wait in line for 40 minutes. And um, yeah, it might as well just be a rock on the ground. You might think this is just a normal pattern on the wall, but each one of these is a special person who's supporting the pandas, the partners. I don't get it. There's an exhibit literally next to it with zero waiting line and an actually moving panda. Man, this was an absolute waste of 40 minutes of our lives. All right, they do have a panda forest here. This is it? 
Sheesh. Red pandas, my favorite. And they're active, they're not sleeping the entire time. This is magical. Top five, top six, top ten. So these are the jackass penguins. Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass Penguins. Oh. Now, one of the cool things that I did discover while waiting 40 minutes in line was that this is Japan's first ever zoo. It was founded in 1882, but overall, I'd say this is a solid 7 out of 10 experience. There literally wasn't anything that special here, but all the exhibits look pretty neat. The animals looked uh, cute, and it's also really cheap. So this is a place where you definitely can spend like four hours out of your day and you won't regret it. We also planned on going on a boat ride next to the Ueno Zoo Park, but since it's too windy, it's closed for today. Aside from the people who already got on there, the lucky ones, but the tornado will take them. Either way, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another vlog. Bye.